Hey Northridge family, many of you will know who I am by now, but for those of you who don't, my name is Jacob. I am the spiritual formation and discipleship leader here at Northridge, just started recently. And I just wanted to take a couple minutes of your time to, to present you with something that we're going to be doing corporately as a church throughout this, this Christmas season. And we, we know that Christmas can be a busy time for lots of us. And so we wanted to, to have something that our church could partake in together that would keep us centered in on what this season is truly about, which is, is the, the birth of our Savior. And so starting this Sunday, we're going to be doing a U version Bible plan together that will, will start this Sunday and carry us all the way till Christmas Eve um, as just a way of, of going to Scripture every day and reminding us of what this season truly is about. And so a little bit more specifically about the plan that we're actually doing. It's one that's been put together by Compassion Canada, which is an organization that, that partners with churches in Canada to free children from poverty all around the world. And, and the plan is specifically about targeting the postures of our heart and bring us to a place of complete surrender as we walk through this um, Advent season together. The plan moves through five specific postures of our heart our eyes fixed, our head up, our knees bent, our hands open, and our arms wide. And it goes through these specific postures because when we posture our hearts in these specific positions, it allows us to receive all that God has to offer us through this Advent season. And so this Sunday, we're going to be starting with the first one, with our eyes fixed. We live in a very fast-paced world with a lot of things that demand our attention, whether that be our, our friends, our work, our children, our phones. And then when you add in the Christmas season, you're adding Christmas parties and shopping and kettle shifts and kettle shifts and kettle shifts. And so there's lots of things that are grabbing our attention throughout this season. And so as we sit on this side of the Christmas season, the very beginning of it, we have this opportunity to approach this Christmas season as, as the wise men did in, in the Gospel of Matthew. And, and you read, this is, this is how they approach the season. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where's the one who's been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. Right? Did you catch that? Their, their approach to the Christmas season was to set their eyes on Christ and come and worship him. We've just gone through this sermon series together where we've been looking at these gods at war. And, and the question is not if we worship something, but what we worship, right? There's lots of things in our world that are, are, are asking for our worship. And I pray that as we approach this season together, that our, our worship would be on the one thing and the one person that is truly worthy of that worship, which is Jesus Christ. Let's pray together. Dear Lord, we come before you right now acknowledging that there are going to be lots of, lots of busyness as we approach this Christmas season. And we pray that as we, as we approach your word every day and as we, as we communicate with one another um, in the community that you've given us, that we'd be able to keep our eyes fixed on you. And, and whether that be while we're out at the mall or whether we're at home, um, with our families or whether we're having quiet time with you, I pray that this whole season would be one where our, our, we're constantly reminded of your presence in our life and what this, this season truly is about. And I pray that for those of us that, that struggle with discipline, I pray that this, this, um, I pray that this, this series and this plan would be of, of value to us in learning to go to your word every single day and keeping ourselves rooted in it. And I pray these things in your name. Amen. Again, I encourage you to join us in this reading plan as we work through the Advent season. The link to the specific plan that we're doing is in the description to this video, so click on that and join us this Sunday. Thanks, guys.